Hello and welcome to another review. Today we have Mad Games Tycoon 2 and I'll start with uh, what are you here for and is it worth buying Mad Games Tycoon 2 in 2021, 2022? And my response is a big yes. And before I jump into why I think that is, um, I just want to talk about what Mad Games Tycoon 2 uh, actually is. So according to the developer, it's um, it's a management game where you start your own game development studio in 1976. So you build your own offices, your production facilities and server rooms and you develop the games and produce uh, the consoles as well. So you start on a small garage company and end as a huge corporation if you don't fail. <laughs> but that's what the game is. And let's start into uh, the, the pro list of the game. So I think like the first thing that comes to mind and that I really like about this game is that it, it is a fun game. I have a lot of fun playing this game. By the way, if you're watching this and wondering if the Let's Play series has finished, no, it hasn't. I'm just uh, giving a pause to do this review and we'll be back with that in the next week. But yeah, I've been playing it for quite a while and I'm having a lot of fun. I think like the, with the mix of uh, styles of the game and categories, you can come up with some pretty funny ideas, especially for, for names and things like that. And uh, just that, like, I think it's, it's really fun. I have, I just enjoy, really enjoy doing, like making names for, for these games and making some weird combinations of styles and categories. Like they, they're just fantastic. But yeah, the game is fun. So the uh, options in the game, like, there are so many options. You have options for consoles, for uh, PCs, for um, development. You have like a lot of different areas. You have things like um, the style of the game. You have um, the, the category of the game. So for example, you can have a racing game or a puzzle game or a strategy game and you can have a game uh, with a style based on vikings or sci-fi or um i i don't know like there are so many options that i can't remember <laughs> at this point but there are quite a lot a lot so it just adds to the fun part that i just mentioned um and like that there, there are lots of depth in this game as well which is really interesting because like for example you're developing a, a game and then you can have uh, copyrights you can do sequels you can do spin-offs you can base your game on a famous uh, movie for example and uh, like th there are so many options in every single area everything that you do you can do research you can I uh, have like development, QA, sound, and graphics, and you can do marketing, you can build your own products, you can, as I mentioned, develop your own consoles and um, NPCs, things like that. There are so much to it. Like the, it takes hours and hours for you to get through all of that. And that's just also like, I was really looking for a game like that for a long time. And I think it's just, spot on I, I really like that and talk about death uh we have not death depth <laughs> let's make things clear here <laughs> but we have a lot of research in this game as well basically everything you do you unlock through research and oh that is so much research to be done especially on the game categories and um even like things that you, you do in, in your game, for example, using keyboard or mouse, you can research that. And uh, maybe you have like save games or uh, multiplayer and like all of these things, they are all unlocked via research. And this is quite awesome. 
Um, so definitely worthwhile. And my final pro point there is that it has a very, very active development. So basically I can see updates from this game. Obviously, sometimes they're just minor updates to, to make sure things are working, but I can see uh, a lot of uh, updates every week, which is quite fantastic. And the game is still in early access, so that just means that we they are still developing, and I love that they are very, very active. They also listen to a lot of feedback, and uh, you can provide in-game feedback and I believe they have a Discord server, which I'm not in there, by the way, but I might join them as well, uh, because I have feedback, right? <laughs> so, but they are listening to it, they look at that, they uh, are very active, responding to that and developing those uh, suggestions as well. And this is making an incredible game. So the release, the release date uh, for that, for the um, early access, actually, was in January 21, so I think we're getting very close to releasing the, the full version, but it's just a great game and you give you hours and hours of fun. Now, to the con list, um, I think like my major complaint from this game, if you watch my Let's Play series, it's been there like since the beginning, since the first episode, is placing objects. This is just well, it's a nightmare, but it's it's pretty annoying sometimes. It, like it gets stuck to the grid, and you can remove the snapping, but then like things don't align properly, and uh, sometimes it, it's just really a pain to get things in, in the right place. But I think I, I really really hope that they they improve that if that's possible. Um, the second con of the game are actually the notification system. So basically the game like notify you when something happens or uh, when something is done. And I feel like that is, it's missing a connection between the notification and a place where you can see that. So for example, there are notifications about what your uh, competitors are doing, for example, releasing a game. But I would love to see what they've released, when they release, which games have been released this month or that month, and compare what we are doing with what's happening in the market. Or sometimes there are some other notifications that are directly related to, to you, and you can actually know or see what where that information is. It's just like a random notification and you don't have access to that. So I think there are some improvements that may be necessary in the notification system. But as you can see, these are just my two calls uh, in, from the game. So it, it's a big thing for me. I usually like have quite a few and not today. So yeah, good on them. <laughs> but in conclusion, if I think Mad Games Tycoon 2 is worthwhile in early access for 2021 and almost 2022 now, uh, it's a definite yes for me, and I really think you would like it as well. But yeah, before we go, just don't forget to leave a like, and please leave a comment if you played this game before, or uh, if you have any other points that you might think are important for anyone else looking into this game, or even if you have questions, let me know in the comments, I'll be more than happy to help you with that or join my Discord server, the link is in the description, and we can have a chat about that. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye!